Hey, everybody. Welcome back to our All Access Studio. I'm your host, Marty Finn. So now we're about to play our favorite game show at Talent Connect. This was a huge hit last year, one of my favorites. It's a game show inspired by a segment on The Tonight Show called Pup Quiz. So I will, we're going to have two esteemed guests who I will introduce shortly. But here's the premise of the game. So basically, we're going to be asking our contestants a series of questions. If they get the answer right, they get a puppy. You get to hold a puppy, a cute puppy. Who doesn't want that? If they get the answer wrong, their opponent has the chance to answer correctly and then steal that puppy. So the name of the game is whoever's holding the most puppies at the end is the winner. So before we get to that, I do want to recognize and thank PupsAndReps.com, who has been caring for and brought all of these puppies into the studio today. And we should mention that some of the puppies that you're going to see on here are available for adoption. So be sure to check out PupsAndReps.com. All right, so before we meet the puppies, we have two very important people that we should introduce, Ed Nathanson and Don Burke. Hello. So Hi. Ed, why don't you go first and tell the audience a little bit about yourself and Red Pill Talent. Sure, so I am an employer brand consultancy. I work with big companies, small companies all around the world, helping them with their employer brand, and uh, a massive Kiss fan. Oh. <laughs> Favorite Kiss song? Oh, I Was Made for Loving You. All right. Yeah, not yeah, not yeah. Beth? No, no, too soft. <laughs> <laughs> Only the hardcore jam. That's right. All right. All right. Yeah. Very good. Well, great to have you here. Likewise. Don, thank you for coming in. We're oh, excited God, to have you pleasure. on the show. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and Don Burke HR? That's right. Don Burke HR. It took me two months to come up with that name. I should have, I should have <laughs> called you. Um, I'm an HR consultancy as well. I help uh, companies understand uh, what their modern workers want and need so we can create some engagement strategies and understand what they truly value, which would be their culture. And then from there, we can do all kinds of other cool stuff. Learning and development, recruitment, training. You got it. That's what we do. Fantastic. Well, thank you guys both for being here. So before we get into the questions, we wanted all the viewers to know and you guys to know that basically everything we're going to ask today can all be found in LinkedIn's newest solution called Talent Insights. Ah. So for those of you that might not be aware, Talent Insights is a solution that delivers on-demand access to real-time data on talent pools and companies. So if you're looking to hire a certain you know, spe uh, specific function in an area, LinkedIn Talent Insights can tell you where that talent lives, your best option for recruiting and a lot more insights. So really great stuff. Um, so all of this can be used there. So you guys want to go online, check out LinkedIn Talent Insights, um, and we'll see how you guys do with the questions, all right? Can't wait. Puppy me. Oh, it's on. Puppy me. <laughs> it's on. Wow. By the way, just okay. so we would be like equal here, when I saw he was wearing a Kiss shirt, you realize I was wearing like a flowy green shirt. I had to put on my black outfit. So it's on, brother. Right. So we've got, on. There's a lot of puppy game face going on here right now. All right, I love it. So the first question is for Dawn. So when trying to find the perfect candidate, it can sometimes feel like you're shooting for the moon. But what happens when you're really aiming for the stars? Tell us which of the following countries has the largest talent pool for astronauts. It's multiple choice. Wait, sorry, I forgot to tell you that. It's multiple choice. So like, I wasn't just going to see what you said, um, although I'm, now I'm interested. Um, so here are your options. A, the United States. B, the United Kingdom. C, the Russian Federation. And D, France. Russian Federation. Final answer. I'm sorry, that is not the correct answer. Ed, you have the opportunity to steal for a puppy. No problem. I am going to say the United States of America. Give this man a puppy. What? Puppy <laughs> oh. me. Oh, oh, yes. so adorable. I don't think his name is Bruno, but that's what I call him now. Okay. Oh, hello, <laughs> okay. hello, hello. Bruno. Oh, Don, hi. please don't touch the puppies until you've earned it. Hi. Hi, you. Oh, All right. You even smell like a puppy. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I'd be kind of concerned if he didn't, but all right, here we go. All right, Ed, so this is the next question goes mm -hmm. to you, Ed. So drilling down further with all these astronauts, so we're staying space related, with all these astronauts in the USA, which city has the largest talent pool of these space men and women? Your options are Cape Canaveral, San Francisco, Los Angeles, or New York City? I'm going to say San Francisco. That is an incorrect answer. I'm uh, sorry, my friend. Don, uh, this is your chance. Repeat the I question. I can feel the puppy just yearning for you right now. Uh, Cape Canaveral, San Francisco, Los Angeles, or New York City? And what was the question? Uh, which city has the largest talent pool of astronauts in the United States? And what were the cities again? Cape Canaveral, <laughs> San Francisco, LA, and New York. Cape Canaveral. Sorry, the correct answer is New York City what with the up? highest population of astronauts followed 
by LA, Texas, and Houston. Wow. Or Houston, wow. Texas. Oh. Um, all right, Don. Last question on astronauts, promise. Uh, which school has produced the most astronauts? Trinity College in Hartford, MIT, Harvard, or Yale? MIT. Dang. All right. All right. Astronauts are not our thing here, guys, and there's no shame. Yeah, what? Uh, got a chance to steal, to steal that, right? yeah. I'm going to say Yale. Harvard, guys. Oh. Sorry. Makes sense. All those, <laughs> it's those wicked smart kids. Oh, you know? that's no, right. Wicked smart. Yeah. We're going to get a sympathy puppy. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry. I mean, We're mom. calling an audible here. We're sympathy. getting a sympathy, sympathy puppy. puppy. Hello? I, I, breaking news? Sympathy puppy? Break, no. Breaking oh. news. This is Charlie. We just got so many. Hi, we want to so. Hey, Charlie. You know what? My know, neighbor has a dog yeah. just like this named Charlie. That's your boy. All right. Hi. All right, Charlie and Bruno. Hi. All right, we're done with astronauts. Oh, and Ed, Charlie. the next question is to you. How many people globally list their profession as a recruiter? The options are 50,000 people, 95,000 people, 300,000 people, or 400,000 people. I'm going to go with the biggest, 400,000. You would be correct. We're going to need a puppy. Yay. A puppy. So, according to LinkedIn Talent yeah. Insights, 411, oh, yes. 450,000 no. professionals identify themselves as a recruiter. Oh, you are adorable, aren't you? All right. <laughs> all right, Don, question to you. So where are all these recruiters? Which location do you think is home to the most recruiters? New York, Hy Hyderabad, India, London, Toronto, Canada. Oh, how's it going? I'm going to say India. Dang. Correct. Sorry. London. It's the city that they named so nice, they say it twice. Oh. New York, New York. Oh. New York is coming up all the time. Sorry, guys. Sympathy puppy. Let's sympathy. bring a sympathy puppy. Oh. Sympathy puppy. Is that your brother? Ah. Your brother. <laughs> all right, Ed, here's your chance for a third puppy. Bringing things closer to here, home here in Anaheim, how many recruiters are in the greater LA area? Oh, Lord. 400? It's okay. 4,500? <laughs> 9,300? Or 3,900? I'm going to say 4,500. The correct? No, I'm sorry. Ah. That is incorrect. Oh. 400? 4,500? 9,300? Or 3,900? And that is in what city? Uh, greater Los Angeles area. I'm going to go with C. That would be correct. Oh, uh, 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 oh. oh. Just join your brother in. All right. So if we're keeping score, is that an Aaron puppy in the middle? Oh, Did yes. <laughs> yeah, this is. See, okay. I'm, a, I, I'm a lover, not no, a no, fighter. No, 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 I'll let you right. even we're have gonna a puppy. going to split these puppies out. <laughs> All right, and what are the names? What are the names of yours? Um, Larry, Curly, and Mo. All right, there very we go. good. That was good. That was very good. Uh, All yeah. right, final question: What is something we would not know about you based on your LinkedIn profile? That I used to do stand-up comedy. You used to do stand-up comedy. Yeah. That is correct. We're <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, look at this, this guy. Don, final question to you. Come here. Same question. Come here. Something that people don't know about me. Um, that I believe that wine in a wheel of brie makes a well-balanced meal. Oh, my God. You and me both. <laughs> so give this lady a puppy. <laughs> Oh, oh my, my God. God. Can right. I stay here forever? <laughs> no, you actually have to. So, yeah, that's the trick now. You have to sit here still for the next hour. Oh, 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 oh all right. Oh, puppy. Okay, oh, we got to wrap this up, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for playing. I'm not sure. I think everyone wins today, right? right? Oh, my God, I yes. I think everyone wins yes. with the puppy. And for all of you recruiting astronauts... Don't thank us. Mm -hmm. Thank him. Thank Don's coming for you. <laughs>